that will be maybe partial yes and partial no. Because actually the symptoms of coronavirus, regular coughs, um, high temperature, and anybody can cough. Anybody can have um a high temperature. So I want to calm down and check, really, really check if something is wrong with my system or just go. It's not like if I go there, there is one sure vaccine they are going to give me that will make me get cured. And even though I want to go and run a test without me having at all, now me coming in contact with their tools and everything, with their, um, their, with their test tools, someone can get it from there. So I will say yes and I will say no. do but if I develop symptoms the earlier the better I'll visit the isolation center now at least so that I can know what's up it's not something that I can treat um, um, not something I can treat on my home or any hospital can treat so it's better I just go there straight forward if there's something to salvage no I won't I'll stay in my house and self isolate <laughs> Well, if I do develop symptoms, the first thing is to go into my kitchen, boil water, take tea with ginger, and you know, the whole nine years, do all that basic precaution. But that's the state. I ain't going to no isolation center. the symptoms of coronavirus um yes i would visit the isolation center because i wouldn't want to infect my families and those around me and i also wouldn't want to die at home so i feel if i should go to the isolation center i'll be treated and well taken care of Depends on what the situation is. One, are they showing me my results? If they are not, I'm not going. If they are, and I can ascertain that, oh, this is truly my name, my correct details, and all, oh, and my results, why not?